Chennai. The capital city of the state of Tamil Nadu is the southern queen of Indian metropolis. With a population of 1.1 crore people, the city is well known as the second largest software exporter in India after Bengaluru. Because of its strategic location and the rise of the information technology and automobile industry, thousands of people come to Chennai with the hope to fulfill their dreams and opportunities, which results in increasing pressure on the city's infrastructure. Just like the other Indian metro cities like Kolkata and Mumbai, Chennai also has a suburban rail network, but they hardly serve the every corner of the city and they are overcrowded as well. Apart from this, the rise in the number of private vehicles and the limited number of bus service cause the increasing in traffic jams as well as the pollution level. So to counter this problem, the Tamil Nadu government has realized that it is the time to bring a stable mass rapid transit system in Chennai to connect every inch of the city. So without wasting our time, let's have a brief discussion about the Chennai Metro. The Chennai Metro Phase 1 comprises of two metro lines covering the length of 55 kilometers. The concept of Chennai Metro was came for the first time in the 1980s when Chennai saw a massive growth on development. On that time, the government have realized that it is the time to introduce a mass rapid transit system in Chennai to continue the city running. And in their late 1980s, the Metropolitan Transport Project or the MTP took the responsibility to build a mass rapid transit system in Chennai, the same MTP which built the India's first metro railway, the Kolkata Metro. And in the year 1995, the first section of the Chennai MRTS was being inaugurated to the public. But later, it was found out that it wasn't a wise decision to give the Chennai a substandard MRTS when Kolkata got its metro. With the shabby EMU train sets and the poor maintenance of the line, the MRTS was never considered to be a proper metro rail. Well, it was the good idea to make the line elevated, but if they spent more amount of money, then Chennai could have easily owed the title to be the second metro rail in India. We will discuss about this later in a separate video about the Chennai MRTS. But suddenly, things start to get improved as India enters into the 21st century. Following the success of Delhi Metro model, the Tamil Nadu government have realized that a modern metro rail system must to be implemented in Chennai as well. And after a years of planning, the Chennai Metro Phase 1 was approved in the year 2007 and a special purpose vehicle was formed known as Chennai Metro Rail Limited or the CMRL to implement this project, which is a 50-50 joint venture between Government of India and the Government of Tamil Nadu. The physical construction of Phase 1 was started in mid-2009 and in just 6 years, the first section of Chennai Metro Phase 1 was inaugurated on a 10km section of the Green Line from Coimbatore to Alandur on 29th of June 2015 as the 7th Metro Rail to be operational in India. The system was expanded in future and today, the Chennai Metro Network has a length of 55 km long with two metro lines making it the fourth largest metro rail in India after Delhi, Hyderabad and Bengaluru. Now let us talk about the features about the Chennai Metro. In Chennai Metro, there are several things that will make you awestruck. The Chennai Metro has a title to have a India's first ever double-decker metro station at Alandur, where the first level has a concourse and the ticket counters, whereas the second level holds the platforms for the green line and the third level holds the platforms for the blue line. Not only this, it is the first modern metro rail in India where the two metro lines are physically connected with each other. Because of this, the Chennai Metro also provides interline train service from green line to blue line and vice versa. It is also known as the second metro rail in India to be equipped with full eyed platform screen doors just after the Delhi Metro's airport express line. These platform screen doors helps to maintain the crowd management and prevent suicide which increase the efficiency in operations. But despite having a large metro network, the metro was initially proved to be a failure. When Chennai Metro was initially opened, the ridership was just 30 to 40,000 people per day. But even after completion of phase 1, the daily ridership was shot up to just 1.5 lakhs which is well below than the estimated ridership. The reason for this lower ridership is the expensive fares of the Chennai Metro. Despite being operated by the government authority, 
the Chennai Metro is the second most expensive metro rail in India after Mumbai in terms of ticket prices. The ticket prices are so high that a big 55 km metro network barely carries 1.5 lakh passengers daily. The minimum fare of Chennai Metro was Rs 10 and the maximum fare was Rs 70 at the initial days. But recently, CMRL has reduced the maximum fare to Rs 50 which has increased the ridership. Apart from this, the CMRL is also initiating the station branding where big companies pay a particular amount to CMRL to secure the naming rights of the metro station to increase the non-fare revenue. If things go well, then we might see the further reduction of fares in Chennai Metro in future. Now let us talk about the alignment of the Chennai Metro Phase 1. The first metro line which was built in the Phase 1 is the Chennai Metro Green Line. This line runs at a length of 22 km from St. Thomas Mount to Chennai Central with 17 stations. Out of these 22 km long, only 12.3 km section of the line from St. Thomas Mount to Coimbatore with 8 stations are elevated, whereas the remaining 9.7 km section of the line from Coimbatore to Chennai Central with 9 stations are underground. This line mainly follows the Poonamali High Road and the Inner Ring Road passing through many important locations like Alandur, Coimbatore, Pacheyapa College, Nehru Park, etc. The first section of the Green Line was inaugurated on a 10 km elevated section from Coimbatore to Alandur on 29th of June 2015 with 7 metro stations. Later on, it was extended southwards for another 2.3 km from Alandur to St. Thomas Mount on 14th October 2016, where on the other hand, the underground section of the Green Line was opened in two phases, one from Coimbatore to Nehru Park on 15th May 2017 covering 7 km and another from Nehru Park to Chennai Central on 25th of May 2018 covering 2.7 km. The second and the last metro line which was opened in the phase 1 is the Chennai Metro Blue Line. This line runs at a length of 33 km from Chennai International Airport to Vimkonagar with 25 stations. But according to the original plan of phase 1, the blue line was supposed to be run only from airport to Washerman Pet. But later on, it was decided to extend the blue line from Washerman Pet to Vimkonagar to improve the connectivity to northern Chennai. Out of these 33 kilometers, only 15.5 km section of the line from airport to Little Mount and from new Washerman Pet to Vimkonagar with 12 stations are elevated, whereas the remaining 16.6 km section of the line from Saida Pet to Tandyara Pet with 13 stations are underground. This line mainly follows the Annasalai Mount Road and Tiruvattur I Road passing through many important locations like Airport, Little Mount, AGDMS, Chennai Central, Madras High Court, Tiruvattur, Vimkonagar, etc. The first section of the Blue Line was inaugurated on a 8.3 km elevated section from airport to Little Mount with 6 stations on 21st of September 2016, whereas the underground section of the Blue Line was being opened in two phases, one from Little Mount to AGDMS on 25th May 2018 covering 7.2 km and another from AGDMS to Washerman Pet on 10th February 2019 covering 9.5 km. And in the end, the northward extension of the Blue Line was also been inaugurated from Washerman Pet to Vimkonagar covering 9 km long with 8 metro stations which also include 2 underground metro stations. This extension was been opened on 14 February 2021 marks the completion of the Chennai Metro Phase 1. The Chennai Metro Phase 1 provides 2 interchange metro stations where green and blue lines are intersect with each other one at elevated Alandur and another at underground Chennai Central. And as we mentioned earlier, both green and blue lines are physically connected with each other at Alandur, where green line trains can move to the blue line and vice versa. The depot for the Chennai Metro is being built at Coimbatore, whereas the elevated stabling yard is being made at Vimkonagar. These two act as a common depot for both green and blue lines. Now let us talk about the systems and the rolling stocks of Chennai Metro Phase 1. The Chennai Metro Phase 1 uses distance to go signaling system to run the trains at a frequency of 3 to 4 minutes. 
the Chennai Metro Phase 1 as 52 four coach standard gauge train sets manufactured by Alstom. Out of these 52, nine trains were made in Alstom's manufacturing plant in Lapa, Brazil, whereas the rest 43 trains were made in Alstom's manufacturing unit in Shri City, Andhra Pradesh, India. Each train are 3.2 meters wide and uses 25 kV AC overhead electrification. That's all for it. Do you know that CMRL is executing the Chennai Metro Phase 2 plan? This will help to expand the Chennai Metro to every corner of the city. We will make a separate video on it. Comment down if you want us to make a video on Chennai Metro Phase 2. For more information about the rapid transit system all across the world, then please subscribe to our channel The Global Transits. Also, like and share this video to your friends and relatives so that they can be aware about the rapid transit system all across India as well as to the world. Have a nice day.